So how do you use a clear global glossary? I'll demonstrate. You can add the web app to your mobile home screen to make it available offline. Open the link glossaries.clearglobal.org in your browser to see the glossary's homepage. Tap to open the glossary you want to view, in this example, the PSEA glossary. Then tap the hamburger menu, that is the three vertical dots on the top right. In the drop down menu, select Add to Home Screen. Then select Add. The new icon will now be on your home screen. When you first open the Glossary app, you will see this page. There are currently 10 rows per page, but you can add more or less rows if you prefer. Scroll down to view all the terms on the page, or use the arrows at the top of the page here to navigate to the next page or the previous page. You can use the drop down menu to select your preferred languages. Scroll down to find the one you need. You can choose more than one language. In this example, I'm going to choose English and Swahili. You can filter the glossary by specific categories, which are described as sectors in the Glossary app. For example, to see all terms in the category of Gender and Identity, you can select Gender and Identity from the Sector drop-down menu, and you will see all the terms in this category. The orange tag attached to terms here tells you which sector they appear in. You can search for a term using the search bar. If there are synonyms, abbreviations or acronyms for terms, you can view these by selecting the drop-down arrow next to the term here and scrolling down. The number in brackets next to the drop-down arrow shows the total number of synonyms. Some languages and terms also include definitions and audio recordings. Select the term in the language required and a pop-up window appears. If a definition is available, you will see it here. To listen to the term, select the audio icon and tap play. To return to the glossary, select close. Select the I information icon next to the search bar to read more about the glossary. There you can find out how we develop this glossary and how to use it.